the most amazing story about you that I've, I've always read, and I don't know if it freaks you out, oh, and I don't even know if it's real, but when you were a kid, somebody hit you over the head with a hammer, and yeah. I mean really hard. Who was that who hit you over the head? Well, I didn't ask his name. Right. It but, was a fight. Yeah, we was in school, and I, and I was about 15, and a load of other lads come down from another school. Yeah. There was about four of us, and we were having a cigarette. And no one carded you No one carded then. me then. So I'm having a cigarette, and these lads come down with hoods up, and they come in, one of them whack someone. Someone whacks someone, so we obviously get stuck in. That could have been the end of your life. Yeah, well, I'm, it was the beginning. It, so right. It was. So he, I, he pulled his hood over, and he's gone whack when it's slamming on me. And anyway, I wake up. I wake up in hospital. I've got a load of stitches in me. But I got out of double maths, so that was a blessing. Right. Yeah, I heard that. that, I, that yeah, they, because double, you've been whacked over the head, yeah. you had a load of stitches, you get out of math class, which you liked. Double, yeah. yeah. Well, no, I didn't like. No, I mean, I, you like getting out of yeah, the class. Yeah, I like getting out of that. And I might have got that double English as well. But after that, in my head, I believe, I started hearing music, man. So let me understand something. Because I wasn't into music at all. I was into playing football. and I find this fascinating. You, Noel was always into music, he playing always, guitar. He was sort of a loner. Yeah, he was into that. Right. You were more of a social kind of guy. I was more into playing football on the park, being a little dickhead, letting people's tires down, knocking on doors, running away, and just being a little shit. And you never were really that into music. I no, mean, I you, thought music was for weirdos, man. Right. You never sat there in your room and listened to Beatles and Stones and, no, and, no, and no. sort of became one of those record nerds or anything no, like no, that. No, no. Noel was off. He was learning it. the guitar, yeah. trying to, you know, get his shit together. Yeah. You're off doing your thing. This kid hits you in the head with a hammer. Mm. And you say you wake up and suddenly, what, you heard music? Yeah, yeah just, no, it wasn't in, instantly. It's just like the next couple, I just, I was going, fucking hell, that's, I think it was Madonna like a virgin. I was going, that's a fucking tune, actually, man. Yeah. And now, so a week before, I'd be going like that. I wouldn't have even, it wouldn't have even got that close, you know what I mean? How do but you I remember explain the, that? Who knows, man? But whoever he was, thank you for it. You know what I mean? Don't I'll, you? I mean, that's like saying that it hit it hit you in the head and unlocked something. Exactly. I'm telling you, it's like when people come out of comas and they start speaking Japanese. Yeah. Or Russian. You know what I mean? Yes. I mean that. And, then, and so it's a hundred percent legitimate that all of a sudden. Hundred percent. All of a sudden, I heard like a virgin by Madonna. I was going, that's a fucking shame. And man. where do you go when you're kind of a, a tough kid growing up? Where do you go to sing when you, you know, you never sang before? You were a kid who played football. Mm. Once you get hit over the head, where do you go to work this out? Do you join a band? Oh no, well you just, I was just, I was always, yeah, you just sing around the house. You know what I mean? Really. And then my mate started a band, which I was impressed with, and that you know what I mean. So they got rid of their singer. And they and put said, you in. And he said, you want to come down because I had the look and that. So I went down there. Uh, you got the look. So I went down there. Uh, Did you feel self-conscious when you first started singing? Yeah, I still do feel a bit odd singing. It's an odd thing to do, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's very personal and that. But So growing up, yeah. the way I understand it, your brother, Noel, mm -hmm. he wasn't in your band at first. You had your own thing going on. Yeah. Your brother's off being a roadie for some band. Yeah. And you guys start a band, and he comes home one day, and he goes, holy fuck, my brother can sing. He had no clue you could sing. No. He was shocked. Yeah. He's, and still, he's still shocked by that, by that fact. Did they get along when they were younger? Was there a no. time? No, they didn't. Never. No, no they shared a bedroom. We shared a bedroom, and I pissed. He bought this new sound system, <laughs> and I'd been out drinking, like, about 15, and I'd maybe a little too many sherries, and I'd come in. And I had a spliff as well. And my fucking room was spinning. I've got up out of the bed. <laughs> I've gone like that down the fucking wall. Where's the fucking light switch? Right. And I couldn't find the light switch. And I thought, oh, fuck it. I'm just going to have to go, man. So I just whipped it out, pissed all over his fucking new sound system. <laughs> <laughs> and all, all, you, all you could hit. And he's gone like that. What the fuck are you doing? I was like, I was just having a fucking piss, in it? He's like, my fucking new fucking stereo. I was like that. Yeah, it's all right, he'll fucking dry, won't it? Oh, my God. <laughs> and that was it. I think that's where, I think he holds a grudge from that. That was a long time ago. Man. And you're not kidding. You think that that pissing incident where you peed all over his new sound system, mm. and don't forget, he was a kid who hung out in his bedroom. That sound system it was meant, important. Oh, to him. mate, that was the holy grail, yeah. Yeah, and it but probably. When you got to go, you got to go, mate. <laughs> yes. Simple as that, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't pissing in my Paddington Bear pajamas for no one. <laughs> Did you ever, exactly, did you ever apologize to your brother for peeing on his sound equipment? Did you ever say, listen? Yeah, yeah. Uh, listen, I was drunk, I was 15. Yeah. For Christ's sakes, I apologize, can we get past this? I said, listen, mate, it's for, it was either the sound system or your fucking head. <laughs> your mouth, and I know he sleeps with his mouth open, so you take it or fucking leave it, my son.